Hello and welcome to part two of my video tutorial on rigging procedural eyes using AutoRig Pro. In this video I'll cover creating the AutoRig Pro rig and then binding the character and the eyes to that rig. Now during the process we're going to disable the eyelid deforming bones so we can use the geometry node eyelids. If you're not using geometry node eyelids or procedural eyelids you can ignore that part where we deselect the eyelid bones. Now again, this isn't a class in how to use AutoRig Pro, but we'll go through the steps you need to do to make the eyes work. And so I won't focus a, a lot of time on perfecting or tweaking or making sure the rigging is just perfect. So next we'll click on AutoRig Pro, our, our tab here. Then we'll click on AutoRig Pro Smart. We'll select Ron, our, our character, and then click on Get Selected Objects. And we'll go ahead and go with full body, click OK. And then we'll start off by clicking on add neck. I'll put that no, right in there somewhere, maybe a little lower normally, but that'll work. Add chin, put that right there. Add shoulders, I will stick those right in there. Add wrists, somewhere in there. Add spine boot, somewhere in there. Add ankles. Now AutoRig Pro is pretty forgiving on where you place these things. It does a good job of figuring out where they really should be. Uh, but that looks good enough for now. Now let's go to the facial setup. You'll see here the button facial setup. We'll click on that. Then I will uh, go to the tweak mode here. And again, I won't spend a lot of time trying to make this uh, uh, setup in the face perfect because we're just going to focus on working on the eyes. Now, because I'm using geometry node eyelids, these landmarks I'm moving around now are for the eyelids. But since I'm using geometry node based eyelids, uh, we're not going to end up using these, so it doesn't really matter too much where I put them. I might even be able to, to flat out delete them, I don't know. But uh, if you are using a procedural eye without eyelids and you're going to depend on moving shape keys to move the, um, the skin up to cover the eye for your eyelid, then you do want to be careful on how you do this. So let's just finish this up here, make the ear ones, a um, little cheek over here. Nose up a little higher, maybe. Uh, fix up his mouth. Bring that in a little. All right. Not perfect, but good enough for what we need today. Well, I'll have to bring him in a little bit more. Okay. Then next we do the eyes. Now we have two eyes. So we'll click two over here our left eyeball type in t for that find that tune one left click in there type in t find the right one so now we have both of our eyes selected and i think we're ready so let's click on go i'll take a few moments to work its way through and set up the uh the bones well there we have it there's our bones and again, I might do some extra tweaking if I was uh, actually doing this for a final rig. But for now, we're just going to focus on the eyes. And all these bones here represent those uh, eyelid bones. And so our, our goal uh, when we do the eyelid rigging is to make sure that those eyelid bones don't move the skin. But uh, I think we'll go with this, this setup as it is. Click Match to Rig. And this will give us our, our controller widgets. All right. Now on the uh, controls, where it automatically puts us in pose mode, and uh, this is our our lower eyelid, and you can't really see the upper eyelid, so I'm going to come over here to uh, the object properties, viewport display, and click in front. So now you can see the upper eyelid, the lower eyelid control as well as the uh, 
left eye target, the right eye target, and then the, uh, I'll just call them the goggles to move both eyes at the same time. Now when it comes to the uh, eyelids, again, since I have uh, the geometry node based ones, I don't want the skin to push up. But what normally happens is that uh, that uh, when these move, when you move the controller, it's going to slide the skin up over the eye. And so if we grab this controller here and G to move it, you can see that's what those are doing. They're moving up and when we bind the mesh to this controller, it would pull the mesh up over the eye. And the same, similar for the top one. As we pull that, you can see those rotating downward. So that's not what we want to do. We want to, uh, we want to go ahead and use these controllers to move the, the geometry node eyelids. So we don't want these bones or these widgets binding to the, uh, to the mesh. So when we get ready to do their rigging, we're going to select everything but those. Now to do that, we'll start off by actually selecting them. Click one, shift click, shift click, keep the shift button held down and select all of those eyelid bones. Then we come over to the right side, continue holding shift and select all the right side bones. There we go. So now we have all the eyelid bones selected and then we're going to hit select invert. Now we have everything but those selected. Now here's the key part. So we click on skin for Auto Rig Pro. We want to select or check the box selected bones only. All right. That way we'll ignore those that we don't have selected, the eyelid ones. So we'll go from pose mode to object mode. And now we just bind everything uh, to the controllers. So we'll start off with the head. You know, on the body, shift click the eyes. Oh, we're out of the middle. We'll do the hair. So we may as well do, uh, let's go ahead and do the shirt. Let's go ahead and do the pants. And may as well do the shoes. Kind of hard to see in there. So I'll select them over here in this menu. Control click on that. So now we have all the items selected. Now there's ways of doing this better in different settings, um, particularly with the engine and heat maps. But again, those are for other videos, not this one. And then lastly, we shift click on the armature. So now we're ready to go. We double check, select the bones only, the box is checked. Let's go to skin and now we'll click bind. And that'll take a few moments to set up the rig. Once that's set up, then we'll do a quick little check just to make sure it worked. And no guarantees on the, on the, on the clothing how well that worked out, but uh, there we go. So let's click on the armature, go to pose mode, click on the chin, how about? G, all right, so that's moving the chin around. So it looks like uh, we have some success there. Now, one thing to note, while we're in pose mode here is that if we click on that head controller, click R for rotate, Z about the Z axis. Let's go ahead and ro rotate it. And I see these like spikes or lightning bolts sh shooting out of the eyes. That's actually those geometry node eyelids. And the reason is, is we need to put that before the rigging. So let's go back to object mode, click on our, I click over on this uh, modifier properties wrench and you'll see geometry nodes here and our, our eyelid open, bottom lid open, top lid angle. This is grab this and drag it up above the rig because after all geometry nodes is just another modifier, but we want it to have it processed first before the rig. So we'll click on the, the right eye and do the same thing. Drag that above. So now we click on the rig, go back to pose mode, rotate Z. Now our eye doesn't have any, any problems with that. So that's looking good.
Thanks for watching, and in the next video, we'll create the procedural eye drivers so we can control where the character is looking with the AutoRig Pro controllers. See you in part three.